now it's snowplow season. People are getting estimates on their driveways, you know, hiring a snowplow contractor. The best thing to do is get those three estimates. You've heard the advice a million times, but it's hard to avoid slick operators. And somebody tried to scam me a couple of times. Even people who teach how to avoid bad deals are targeted. Sheila Cecilia teaches computer studies, including how to avoid being taken. It's very tempting to just keep it a secret because you were fooled, but that's the wrong thing to do. The thing to do is to report it. Tell it to your bank or to the website, the legitimate one that you were trying to reach. And if you're trying to find out if you were alone in being misled, well, there's the scam tracker. We see a lot of people reporting online purchases that went bad. Most banks and legitimate businesses have advisories on their websites on what to do to resolve complaints, even if they are not responsible. And somebody had uh, hacked into my account and put some things for sale, but the, the proceeds weren't going to me. And eBay shut that down. They took the items off. They paid p anybody who had already made a payment. They couldn't get it back for them, but eBay paid for it. So I wasn't out any money. And if a company cannot resolve it, you can go to a mediation service like Better Business Bureau. And fill out a complaint form. Then they will receive a call from our complaint handlers who will work with them and the business as a neutral third party to resolve that dispute. So it's basically a mediation service? Correct. We just serve as the neutral third party to get the consumer in touch with the business and to come to some kind of resolution. But the scams keep coming. This email going round now tells Netflix subscribers it needs their personal information. The catch is, it's a fake Netflix site. And law enforcement hasn't been able to keep up with it by any means. But you can, if you remember, don't give out personal or account information. And if it sounds too good, it probably is. In Syracuse, Laura Hand reporting.